The mind shifa. Positive words can shifa your mind. Conversation between boy and girl after breakup. She was sitting alone at the coffee shop. He had just walked in, and there he saw his ex-girlfriend. Within a second, she saw him too. Their eyes met, and thousands of memories and conversation flashed by in a single millisecond, as well as that ugly night when they had the biggest fight. It all flashed by in their minds. Gathering some strength, the guy walked towards her and sat opposite to her on the same table. She looked at him with a blank expression, not knowing what to say, for it had been almost two months since they broke up. They were not in conversation with one another anymore. Finally, the guy mustered up some courage and started speaking. Here are the transcript of their conversation. How are you? I am fine. How are you doing? Nervously. I am fine too. It's been a long time. Yes, it indeed has been. Hope life is treating you well. Life has not been the same. It has only become better. You mean? Sarcastically. Are you trying to hurt me? I never wanted to. Then why did you? Angrily. I thought being with me was a pain. You said. I just wanted you to be pain-free and happy. You think now I am happy? I don't know. Are you happy? Looking at the coffee cup. I am trying my best to be. Do you have somebody in your life? How does that matter anymore? Just answer me. It doesn't matter. I am sure you must have found someone, though. How can you be so sure? I am happy for you, in case you have. Looking at the girl. Look in my eyes and say that you are happy to see me with someone else. Looking at the guy. I don't need to prove anything. Yes, you need to. You need to prove that you don't love me. I don't love you. Say that you didn't miss me even once in these two months. I didn't miss you even once. Tears start rolling down her eyes, wiping off her tear. This says it all. What do you mean? I know you still love me, and you have not stopped missing me. Then why didn't you ever call me? Because you left me alone. I left you because you said living with me was a pain. Because of an incident, I said something in anger. Did I never tell you how living with you made me a better man? Did I never tell you that being with you makes me the happiest person alive? Did I never tell you that I enjoy every bitter sweet fight we ever had? Did I never tell you that I want to be with you forever? You did. Tears start rolling down her cheeks. I'm sorry. I left you because of something you said in anger. Holding her hand. I am sorry. I said that. I am sorry that I didn't stop you, and I am sorry that I didn't contact you all these months, and I am sorry to say that you will have to bear with this jerk for your entire life. Sliding a diamond ring in her finger. What? Marry me. In these two months, I realized what I am nothing without you, and how bad life could get. I don't want to lose you ever again. Today is Valentine's Day, and I just want to ask you one thing: Would you be my Valentine forever? Yes, yes, of course. Happily and smiling. Moral of the story: A sincere apology can help you both heal. Apologize to your ex in person next time you meet. If your ex did anything really hurtful to you, they should also apologize. You shouldn't be the only one making an effort. Love and relationships are beautiful things if both partners are compatible and understanding. However, the sailing is usually not so smooth, and most relationships witness ego clashes, petty quarrels, and trivial disputes, as a result of which a breakup eventually happens. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mind Shifa. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want to stay motivated. Remember, positive words can shifa your mind.